Hello friends, I honestly don't know how to start this video so I'm just going to be talking a bit about what I'm going to do. So today's video is going to be a speed edit and I'm going to be trying to make a set. Or not set, I'm trying to turn a earth body into a set. Anyways, thanks for clicking onto this video, cue the intro. Hello friends, it's me, voiceover Kimmy. Today's video is going to be slightly different than most of my videos and that's because today's video is kind of like a speed edit type deal. So basically, I was in the Royal High Trading Hub earlier today and I had on this set, or not set, I keep on calling it a set instead of an Arthur body, but I had on this Arthur body and I was like, you know, trolling a little bit and I was like, guys, look at this brand new set and like a lot of people actually fell for it. I'm not going to... I'm honestly I don't blame them because it does kind of look like a royal high set it really has that fairy tale esque that royal high has going on right now with the stars and the blue and the yellow combined together and then the arthur set itself has the fairy wings but for some reason when I wear it on my royal high body the fairy wings don't show up if anyone knows why that is please tell me um anyways I kind of want this to be a set, so call me Bob if you're watching this. Please turn this into a royal high set. It would be literally like the most adorable thing on earth. Um, and then like imagine if you can change the color of it and you can like make it pink and white or something like that. That would be so cute. Anyways, I have like zero Photoshop skills. But I do know how to do simple things like transform and make things look different, as you guys can see here. And that's because I do a lot of digital art. And digital art and Photoshop kind of, sort of fall in the same category. So I kind of learned, I can kind of take some of the stuff that I learned from digital art and apply it onto Photoshop. I actually don't have Photoshop because as i have stated numerous times before i am a broke boy so i use fire alpaca instead and if i'm being honest fire alpaca is really good i actually use fire alpaca and muddy bank um but fire alpaca is like really good i don't know how it's free honestly but yeah i'm basically just adjusting a few things you know copy pasting the skirt so that um it's symmetrical and like there's not holes in the skirt because I don't know about you, but I don't want to wear a holy skirt. If you want to wear a skirt with holes in it, that's on you. Be my guest. I don't judge people for what they wear, but honestly, um, if I saw someone walking down the street with a holy skirt on, I'd be wondering, like, what's going on? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, um, I did a little bit of photoshopping, quote unquote photoshopping off camera because I was originally just going to be doing this for fun, you know what I mean? Um, but then my cousin, shout out to her, actually gave me the idea of turning this into a video. And if I'm being honest watching this back, this is kind of entertaining. Um, if you guys want this to be a series where I, where I take Arthur bodies and like photoshop them into royal high sets, comment down below. I feel like that would be really fun, but I don't know. I don't know what you guys want. You guys have to tell me yourselves. Um, if you want it to be a series, comment down below or maybe I'll put like a little poll type thing. I'll probably do both. Um, and yeah, honestly, if this was in, a, in Royal High, I feel like it should be named like Starry Night or something like that because of all the stars and it has the same colors as Starry Night. It's just like really pretty. The only thing is that I don't know what it is about Arthur bodies, but it's just like... It doesn't really sit right with me you know what i mean um it just feels unnatural like the proportions are off like if you look at it the original picture her neck is like all the way pushed down and her shoulders are like straight uh, she looks like she looks like she has scoliosis or something like that or like there's something going on with her spine but honestly moving on from that um, here I'm just kind of fixing up the skirt a little bit so that it looks like it fits into Royal High more And I'm giving it kind of like a Dear Dolly ruffle skirt type deal with the ruffles, you know what I mean? The ruffly skirt and then I'm um, Changing it up putting the legs in doing everything like that And then I'm going to copy paste the bottom of the skirt where the ruffles are and then move it down slightly 
um, and then kind of erase it where the legs are so that it's not overlapping and then I'm going to make it darker so that it looks like um, there's a shadow on her skirt um, also is it just me or does Photoshop speed edits and speed paints always seem like more professional than just like regular real time or like more satisfying because you don't have to look at the person go through all of the mistakes and like trial and error where they like make a mistake and then they try to figure out how to fix it you don't have to watch that for like 30 minutes it's just like make a mistake boom automatically know how to fix it <laughs> it's just really satisfying to me i don't know why also sorry about like all the background noise that's going on um I'm gonna try my very best to edit it out, but at the same time, I can't make any promises because there are literally 13 people in my house right now, um, and there's really nothing I can do about the noise unless any of you guys know how to control 13 heathens. I mean, if you do, be my guest. Comment down below. I will do anything to get some peace and quiet for two seconds right now, but um, at the same time, it is really nice to be surrounded by friendly um, especially during this pandemic where, ooh, is that like a no-no word for YouTube? Um, especially during this time with, um, you know, all that's going on where we're supposed to be isolated and like not talking to each other. It's really nice to just be with your family and, you know, feel loved. That was really corny. That got really corny really quickly. Anyways, um here i am nearing the end of the speed paint actually i'm just putting on an outfit that would kind of go with the green screen and then making my skin cream taking off my face and then getting a hairstyle that i want to be in my um edit then i just roll over to the green screen make sure that it's green obviously screenshot it i love the way screenshots look during edits i don't know it's just really fun um and then i put that picture in there and i select it um, the, the face and like basically everything except for the hair. I select it and yeah, I'm actually, I actually took a really long time to select it because I don't know where my drawing tablet is so I was doing everything that I did in this video using my mouth. Not my mouth, my mouse. I hope I can manage to find my drawing tablet soon because it's really annoying having to paint with a mouse. Um, Mm, thinking of stuff to say here i'm just removing the green screen and there's this really annoying little like hair follicle so i just got rid of it and like you know erased it and since some of the hair is being covered up by the um body i just made it a really cute like bob style by rounding it off on the end so that it looked like it was supposed to end like that and then rotating it and putting it onto the hair it definitely looks photoshopped not gonna lie but i think it's definitely better than the before Anyways, this is the before. As you can see, she low-key looks like No Neck Ed. And then this is the after. Anyways, friends, thank you so, 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 so much for watching this video. Have a good day, evening, night, morning, afternoon, whatever. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, friends. See you next time. Love you.